There's one product that I've been wanting to test for a few years now, but I've never really got around to doing it. But now that we've gone through extreme droughts the last two years in my area, I'm at the point where putting down this nutrient may be a necessity. And judging by the way the weather has been for the rest of the country the last couple of years, extreme drought conditions, the drought, it's worst, a long-term drought. The grass is dead. It also may be a necessity for you. Today, we're gonna talk about sea kelp. In this video, I'm gonna explain what sea kelp is, why it benefits your lawn, how to apply sea kelp to your lawn, and show you the results of using it. So what is sea kelp? Sea kelp is a type of dried and processed seaweed extract taken from various types of brown algae found in the ocean. Sea kelp contains a bunch of beneficial nutrients for your lawn that can help promote healthy plant growth, improve your soil structure, and support soil microbes. When used as a lawn fertilizer, sea kelp provides a ton of benefits, like promoting root growth, improving nutrient uptake, helping with all types of stress, and increasing water holding capacity. One of the best things about sea kelp is that it's also 100% organic, which means it's safe for pets and humans. Look, I'm not anti-synthetic by any means, but if I have a choice between what I can apply to my lawn between organic and synthetic, I'm taking organic all day long because I have kids and a dog that are on the lawn a lot. It's an easy pick between the two for me. When grass is exposed to extremely high temperatures, it can become dehydrated and struggle to absorb nutrients from the soil. Kelp contains natural plant hormones and compounds that can help the grass cope with these stressors and improve its ability to absorb water and nutrients. I've actually been applying kelp to a test area in my lawn the last month, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the results so far. Minnesota has been getting hit with a lot of 80 degree days and no rain, so it's been very hard for me to resist putting this on the rest of my lawn. But I wanted to make sure I had a test plot area to show you guys the difference between an area treated with kelp and an area that isn't. So what's the best way to apply kelp to your lawn? When it comes to dealing with heat stress, kelp is best applied with a foliar application, which means you are spraying the kelp in liquid form directly on the grass blades. It's important to leave the application on the grass leaves for at least four hours without rain or irrigation so the plants have time to uptake the nutrients. After that four hours, you can water it in so the leftover nutrients can be absorbed through the soil. I searched the internet for some of the best kelp products I could find at a reasonable price, and I came across this one from GS Plant Foods. It's only $37 right now on Amazon, and it covers 64,000 square feet, which is an insane deal. The reviews on this stuff were also really good. I went to their website to see if I could learn more about this kelp product, and I actually ran across another product called Green Envy. I was in search of a humic product because my CEC is very low and I wanted a product to help raise that number a bit while putting down my kelp. This had humic plus some other nutrients in it so I decided to grab it and mix the two products together in my test area. I reached out to the company to learn more about Green Envy since the description was kind of vague. The owner responded that Green Envy contained humic and fulvic acid, kelp, a proprietary blend of microbes, and a proprietary blend of hormones and vitamins. So basically, what I got from that is that he's not giving away a secret sauce for other companies to steal. So I can't really comment on the science behind the product, but I decided to try it out anyway. So what I've been putting down is two ounces of kelp, four ounces of green envy, and one gallon of water per thousand square feet in my test plot, along with a dab of dish soap as a surfactant and spraying it with my backpack sprayer. The dish soap helps the foliar application stick to the blades of grass instead of beating up on it. And I've been putting this down every week to a week and a half over the last month. The best time to spray this is in the morning when the stomata of the plant are open. If you can't spray it in the morning, the next best time to spray is in the evening. And this goes for all foliar applications, not just kelp. You want the stomata open so the plant uptakes as much of the product as possible. It will not do that the best during midday. So the test area I've been putting the kelp down in is basically in a line from this bed all the way to the fence line, and then all the way back to where the obvious color change is in the lawn. You can tell that this area is a lot darker green and it just looks a lot healthier in general. So one of the biggest things that stick out to me with the difference in this kelp where I put it down and where I didn't is in this spot right here. In this whole area, my lawn goes dormant first when it gets really hot out. And you can see the line right over here is still green where I put the kelp down and over here, it's starting to struggle a bit. So at this view, I think it's a lot easier to see the difference in color. You can definitely tell that 
This area of the lawn is much darker green than the area in my front lawn. Now, I almost think it has the same effect as iron. It gives it like that dark emerald green and it lasts about a week and a half to two weeks and then you have to apply it again to get that color again. If you've never applied iron, you can watch this video right here and it'll tell you exactly how to apply it. I'll see you guys over there. Now get off my lawn.